Welcome viewers to the Broward County Bar Association's Meet Our Sponsors. In today's episode, we'll be speaking with Gary Singer, president and owner of Cassie. Welcome, Gary. Raleo, good to see you again. Always good to see you, my friend. Uh, and just uh, since we're getting started, uh, tell us a little bit about Cassie. Uh, what does it do? How does it help uh, attorneys? And tell us what, what actually Cassie stands for also. Yeah, you bet. Cassie is Closing Attorney Support Incorporated. Uh, we started the company, we call, call it Cassie affectionately, as do our clients. We started the company originally a few years ago, and we were helping mostly closing attorneys. We were providing back office services, processing services, fill-in, courtesy closings. But as time went on, uh, we started getting requests for different areas of real estate law that people needed help with, expert witness, real estate specific mediation, even technology consulting. So we actually grew beyond where we started, which was just to provide support to closing attorneys. And now we service all sorts of attorneys. The difference being Cassie is about real estate. So when we're servicing a family lawyer, a personal injury lawyer, we're helping them with their real estate issues in their case whether it's understanding it from a consulting standpoint, because let's face it, you know, you know me, I'm a board certified real estate lawyer. I know all the real estate stuff with the real property chair and all that, but ask me about family law and I know what I remember from law school. That's not going to be any different from the family lawyer, the business litigator. They may know a little bit here or there. We, and it's me, it's the other attorneys we work with. We live and breathe and sweat and smell of real estate. We smell of dirt. So we can look at something, and this happens all the time when we're called in, let's say, as an expert witness, you know, and the business attorney who's scratching their head saying, what is with this issue? I don't get it. And we look at it, we know it, because this is what we do day in and day out. So we're bringing everything in light of real estate. If it's a real estate specific mediation, we have a whole panel of experienced real estate lawyers who are also mediators, so you can mediate your real estate law case. If you need an expert witness, we provide the real estate expert witness, lawyer, non-lawyer, typically lawyer, whether it's consulting expert or testifying expert. And of course, we still do our back office support to help other attorneys with their title and closing stuff. Uh, but you know, we've really grown a lot since we started closing attorney support. Uh, but we call it Cassie. So you know, like you call uh, Siri or Alexa, you call Cassie. We're here to help out. So uh, you kind of alluded to it already, but uh, maybe you could elaborate a little bit more on your background as an attorney and how that helps you with this company helping your clients. Yeah, you bet. Um, you know, I started out as an attorney working at a real estate firm. I mean, right, literally from the first day I was in a law office, I was put into a closing and I didn't have a clue. Real estate is one of those areas of law that looks simple, but as you dig into it, it gets deeper and deeper and, and spreads wider and wider. And I find it endlessly interesting. So through the boom, I ran title companies. Through the bust, I did foreclosure litigation and other sorts of litigation. Now I still do both litigate often, a lot of times pretty heavy title type issues or real estate ownership or transfer issues. But more and more, I had found myself going in, in the lines of becoming a mediator, an arbitrator for real estate issues, and oftentimes an expert or even a special magistrate. Now, as you know, I, for a decade now, I've been either the chair or the co-chair for the real property section. Uh, so I love this stuff. But I love even more being able to go out and help others understand it. So it occurred to us, again, when we were dealing with this helping other closing attorneys, that we can bring this experience not just for me, but from other you know, highly experienced, skilled, well-known real estate attorneys uh, into whether it's a mediation or an expert witness situation. I mean, yeah, I understand it's a niche, just real estate, but... That's what we do. That's what our mediators do from you know all different firms. They're practicing real estate attorneys or we're practicing real estate attorneys. They're gonna understand those issues and be able to help out better in those specific issues. So talking about uh, niche and your unique skills, can you tell us a little bit about any sort of unique case or situation that you had to encounter and how you helped your client? 
Yeah, you bet. I mean, one of the things that we do, and we haven't even talked about this, but you know, there's this little area in the law, and we always talk about access to justice. One of the things that always bothered me, you get this purchase money contract, someone puts down a thousand, a three thousand, or even a five thousand dollar deposit. There's not a space really where you can hire an attorney go to mediation, pay the mediator, and, and have it economically make sense. Lawyers are just, you know, can be too expensive. The mediator is going to be expensive. The whole process can really add up. So one of the programs, for example, we develop, we call it our 798 program, because you get the whole mediation, including uh, worksheets that the client can fill out uh, you know, with their attorney, you get explanations for the attorney to give their client specific to this real estate escrow money dispute. You get an hour of free uh, mediation, mediator time, and you get two hours. We even have a little applet if they're pro se, of course, this is the Broward County Bar Association, but if they're pro se, we even have a little applet that will help the participants in the mediation make a standard form uh, real estate release that you use when you're splitting an escrow or deciding who gets an escrow post mediation. We do it all for $798, $399 aside. That was like a niche we saw. This is something we can fill a low cost panel, really, where we're helping out people because the cases are literally too small for the economics of our legal system. So that's one end of the spectrum. The other end of the spectrum is we found ourselves either mediating or often as experts in these multi-million dollar commercial real estate cases, you know, that are gonna go up on appeal, you're giving, you know, expert testimony, you're looking over thousands of pages of title documents or making a call about whether or not, let's say the title uh, underwriter made a good, you know, within their standard of care, that sort of decision. And we're helping guide the attorney that's litigating it that maybe hasn't done real estate day in and day out for decades, understand some of these deep, deep concepts. So that's kind of part of what makes it interesting. You know, one day we could be working and just helping people on a thousand dollar escrow dispute. And another day we can be working as an expert witness dealing with like a multi-million dollar that's definitely going to go to appeal, maybe in federal court even uh, as an testifying expert. And so it gets pretty exciting, you know, when you ha make that kind of split, you can help lots of different people. With that kind of expertise, I would expect that, uh, you know, and I know that you've received a lot of recognition and awards, and I'm sure members of your team. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, you know, I can certainly, you know, I, look, I've gotten a few awards, super lawyer, legal trend, uh, you know, all the normal ones. I've done all sorts of stuff, you know, us, me from my, our radio show days, probably. From, <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, yeah, I have a habit of getting into things, but what's what's just as important is that our panelists, the people that you know work with us as as experts or mediators, are also very well known. We have everything from sitting politicians, uh, a ton of board certified real estate people, names that have been around that you might know. For example, Anita Paoli. Everyone knows Anita. Anita is fantastic. She's a great mediator. She knows real estate like the back of her hand. She's known it two decades ago, like the back of her hand. She's there as a mediator, for example, to help out. You know, a Boca Mayor Scott Singer is another one on our mediator panel. Uh, he's there, you know, great attorney, really knows his stuff, you know, educated, uh, not at Nova. I love Nova where I went, but, you know, he went to a different school for much further up north with some vines on the walls. You know, we have some really, really great people that mediate for us. So this isn't a Gary show. I just, you know, get to help with the admin and do things like this. But we have great experts for, for every situation. We have great mediators and arbitrators for real estate situations of all types, whether it's condo construction or just general, you know, commercial or residential real estate. Um, you know, we're there with different people filling the skill sets. We have a, I'm amazed, you know, frankly, Raleigh, to put it really simply, at the pool, at the bench we have. You know, I don't know if you're watching the Panthers so far this season. They're killing it with new people. It's great. You know, I haven't had this much. I've been a longtime Panther fan. You know, they got a great bench. We got a great bench. Like, I'm really, I'm impressed that the attorneys that we have will work with us. That's how good they are. So, and you know, it's good they're Cassie attorneys. So that's good. And we're here again to service other attorneys outside a real estate field and even sometimes in it with our real estate expertise. So is it is it your expertise, mediators and attorneys and or other things that set your firm apart from others? 
Yeah, that, that really is what it is. You know, look, there's some great mediation firms out there, uh, some of whom are, are sponsors for the bar, some of whom I've used, I've recommended, and I think are fantastic. Like there's some really good mediators out there, but there's not that many really good mediators out there with decades of real estate experience to help with real estate law issues. And the same thing goes for experts. Look, there's a lot of dirt lawyers out there, right? Um, but are there dirt lawyers, you know, with the experience and the credentials to go and the litigation experience specifically and the transactional experience to go and become either a consulting or testifying expert? And just as importantly, you know, if you're a personal injury attorney, you may know a real, I mean, I work with, you know, through this with a lot of personal injury attorneys on the real estate aspects of dispute. Who do you know? You know, you know the guy across the hall. Well, if you cross the hall from me, that's great. But you know, you may be across the hall from someone who has no litigation experience, let's say. So now you know somebody to call, you know, Cassie, no matter where you are, we'll find the right expert with the right experience for your case or the right mediator, uh, you know, from our panels. And that's kind of the point of what we do. So there's these fantastic, for example, expert witness uh, providers. There's these fantastic, really, we have, we're really lucky in South Florida. We have great mediation companies, uh, you know, who I just think the world of, but their general purpose, we do real estate law. So that's, that's what sets us apart. So let's uh, segue into uh, industry involvement. Can you tell us a little bit about, you know, your interest, uh, industry involvement, volunteering, advocacy, advocacy, that sort of thing? Yeah, you bet. You know, look, we're, we're dirt lawyers. We're into this stuff. Like, I actually really like it. You know, I teach it sometimes as an adjunct. I got a class coming up. Uh, and I was, as you know, as we mentioned already, real property chair with the Broward County Bar, uh, former president of the Broward Attorneys Real Estate Council, uh, my partner in crime, Andrew Dinnerstein, current president of the Broward Attorneys Real Estate Council. Um, and not only that, we like to get involved with causes. You know, with this COVID thing, uh, it was tough on everything. It was really tough on closings. And one of the things we did when we, when this just happened, we got ourselves, we got ourselves a bunch of our attorneys, uh, qualified as remote online notaries. Now, not just to simply do a document, but to do a closing. And at that time, you have these real estate attorneys in the industry that have stuff to close, but they don't have the ability to get in front of the person. And you got to jump through a couple of hoops to become a remote online notary. Okay, so we did that. And then we went out, we got ourselves on with a notarized platform, one of only, I think, a couple of hundred uh, uh, places for real estate closings on the notarized platform, which is super simple compared to some of the other options. And we've been able to help other attorneys do literally hundreds of closings through COVID. It was one of the things we did. We did it, frankly, if we broke even money wise on it, because you know, really can't charge that much to do a notary closing, but we were enabled these other law firms to still do their closings without endangering themselves, especially March, April, May, June, you know, with the unknown of doing an in-person closing. We also went on and we had um, three times a week and then twice a week and then once a week, kind of just attorney uh, uh, Zoom sessions where everyone could get on and just talk. So that was one of the things we reached out to have this community of real estate attorneys, mostly in this case, um, is who we were working with, that really we can go over problems and solutions um, on, on how to face this and make it work for everybody. So, you know, that's, we've been able to, not just myself, but some fantastic uh, attorneys on our panel have been able to really help out the lawyer community through this crisis. And that's a lot of the advocacy we've done. Uh, we've also, you know, made some uh, suggestions on how the remote online notary law should be changed to the powers that be. And, you know, from the proposed bill out there, I don't know whether it came from us or someone else, but it looks like someone listened at the very least. Even wrote a letter to the governor about it once upon a time. So, you know, we were advocating for the real estate law issues um, and also helping to advocate out to, again, those personal injury attorneys, the family lawyers, the business litigators who just, you know, may just need a question answered. A lot of times that's what happens. I'll get a call and, you know, it's not really a consulting. It's not really a gig. It's just a 20 minute conversation where I'm able to answer, you know, litigators, let's say question and help them move on with their case. And just as a courtesy, not that I'm here giving away free work, mind you, but, you know, we're part of the community. Um, you know, we're all, every one of our, I think just about every one of our panelists are heavy volunteers. Um, so, you know, we're out there and we believe in it. 
So I, I know uh, nine years at the bars and I know you're committed to helping people because you've been our chair or co-chair for all that time. So I know you are passionate about helping people. Hey, everyone wants to make a dollar too. You know, if you've got to do an honest day of work, you do it. But, uh, but I know that you give, you give of, of yourself freely. So I appreciate that. No, uh, sure talking about passion, can you you know, on a personal talk a little bit about maybe some of your personal things that you're passionate about doing and maybe how that reflects in your, in your work and in your company, Cassie. You know, sometimes I think maybe I should have been a civil rights attorney. You know, I love that stuff. Um, so yeah, I don't practice in that area. You know, there's people who do that and bless them. You know, I'm a real estate lawyer, but I like to follow that stuff and read about it. Um, I just think it's interesting. I think as attorneys, you know, we're a part of the machine of society and we're here to make sure people do have that access to justice, to make sure people do get justice and, and proper representation. And, and frankly, sometimes just don't get screwed. Let's, let's be blunt. So, you know, whether we, whenever we can do education, whenever I can do education, whenever I can speak at a, a, a seminar or a CLE, I love that stuff. I also love playing with my teenagers. They're just, one of them is almost a teenager, um, my 12 and my 14 year old. So I, I love hanging out with them. They're, they're incredible. My wife, they're so much fun. You know, so family time has always been one of my big passions. Um, you know, I like to golf, like, like uh, a lot of attorneys. That's a lot of fun. I love the Panthers. So that's, uh, that's cool. But, you know, really, you know, I'm a lawyer. I, like even in my off time, I read on this stuff. You know, that I really enjoy uh, the law and the way it works. And I just think it's uh, endlessly interesting. And, you know, look, I, to get a job, to get a career where you can get paid well to help people, what could be better? That's the way I look at it. So, you know, I wake up every day and, and I say my little affirmation and I really do, you know, thank goodness that, you know, I'm, I'm blessed enough to be in this career and be able to help my fellow attorneys when, when I can, be able to help clients when I can, be a zealous advocate when I have to be for my clients, and that, you know, I'm able to fulfill this, what I feel is a very needed role uh, in society. You know, look, probably, you know this better than anyone, you know, half the lawyers don't dig being lawyers. It's hard. It's stressful. You're dealing with sometimes difficult people, whether you're doing transactions or litigation, you know, sometimes the other attorney can be difficult as they're zealously advocating. But there's a lot of us out there who really just love what we do every day and, and are happy to wake up and look forward to Mondays so we can go in and, and really help our clients or help our fellow attorneys to you know, make the wrongs righted, whether it's economic or otherwise. Look, uh, yeah, like I said, I've known you a long time now, and it's the cream of the crop at, at the Broward County Bar, leadership, people to get involved and engage. It's the best that we have in our county, and, uh, and you're one of them. So I appreciate your engagement oh, at the bar. Uh, with it. that, my friend, uh, is, is there anything else you'd like to let our audience know about yourself or, or Cassie? Yeah, no, what, what I'd really, the message and the reason why we became a sponsor, besides the fact that we had enough money to be able to sponsor the Broward Bar, you know, you had to build the company up to that point. Um, but the reason I wanted to do is get the word out to attorneys. Look, in the real estate field, a lot of people know me and a lot of people know the attorneys on, on my panel. But outside of the real estate field, maybe not so much. Look, maybe they see me in the newspaper every Monday with my column in the Sun Sentinel, you know, and that's, you know, they, so they know me from there from my picture. Um, but, you know, they don't really know. So I wanted to get the word out about Cassie. I wanted to let, you know, real estate attorneys who don't know me, the few, uh, you know, I got a big mouth. So a lot of people know me. <laughs> But also the non-real estate attorneys, the family lawyers, the business litigators, the PI attorneys, and, you know, whoever it may be, when they have a real estate issue, they now have someone to call. You know, they can call me, they can call one of the panelists, they can call anyone involved with Cassie, they can call Cassie and get, you know, someone to talk to who knows about real estate because they breathe it and they live it. And that's the message I want to get out. Like, you have someone, a real estate expert you know, I'm board certified. I can say I'm an expert. You have a real estate expert to call, but it's not just me. It's our whole group, you know, uh, panelists and employees and whatnot that are here to help, you know, when you have a real estate law issue. So call us, call Cassie. Uh, we're happy to talk to you, 954-851-1448. I don't know if I was supposed to give out my phone number. Yeah, please do, <laughs> as well as your website. Please, please. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, thank you. Uh, 954-851-1448. You can give us a call. Uh, we actually have other offerings besides what we spoke about here where we can help people. Uh, we're very focused on real estate, but it's a lot of little pieces we do. And you can check us out at closingattorneysupport.com, closingattorneysupport.com. If you want to jump right to our mediation and arbitration page, you can go to real ADR, R E A L A D R.com. That jumps you right to a little bit of information uh, about our uh, panel. A little bit, it's a little outdated. We're actually having it being redone right now, but it's still a pretty good website. But we're growing, so it needs to grow too. But we'd love to have you again, 954 851 1448. Or, of course, you can always uh, email me. You can get me Gary at closing attorney support.com or even at my law firm, Gary at Gary Singer law.com. And I'm always happy to take time to uh, talk to you, even if just for a few minutes, you have a quick question. Um, but there's those of you who maybe will watch us. will go, oh, yeah, I can call Gary and he answered my question. You know, we had a nice chat. I'm always happy to talk to attorneys because, well, frankly, I like talking to attorneys. Well, most of them, not all of them. <laughs> there's a couple out there, you know, <laughs> though I'd still talk to, so you know what, it's really funny, but you know, one of the attorneys on uh, our panel, we had a very contentious litigation against each other. We were on opposing sides and it was, you know, a state professional, great attorney, Mark, his name is Mark Kushner, great attorney, but he was a zealous, zealous advocate. And we butted heads in court for a couple of years on a case. And now, you know, he'll do mediations with us. He's a great real estate attorney. Uh, and, you know, the case was over. We were both pros and we ended up being friends afterwards, which was really kind of cool. And it's not the first and, and it won't be the last time that's happened either. So even those tough ones, you know, once we get past the case, we can still be friends. <laughs> Excellent. Well, uh, Gary, thank you for spending time with me. It's been thank enjoyable, you, my friend. Um, thank we you. We appreciate educating. all you do, bro. You've been amazing through this pandemic. I got to tell uh, you. I, uh, I just try. I surround myself with uh, great folks like you that make it easy for me. Well, so, there you go. I appreciate <laughs> it, my friend. Yeah, no, surround yourself with smart people and you get things done. Uh, I want to thank our viewers for being with us. And seriously, if you any all things real estate, you know, reach out to Gary. I, you know, if he can't help you, I don't know who can. Uh, one wonderful of our guy. <laughs> say again, say again. If I can't help you, one of our panelists. Yeah, can. exactly. One of your <laughs> panelists. So, all right, my friend, be safe. Take care. Thank you, brother. Great seeing you. Great seeing you.